In today's video, gents, how to purge your closet. Step number one, identify what you want the end product to look like. You need to have an idea of the image you want to present to the world. Do you want to go with street style? Do you want to go with a casual, rugged look? Do you want to go classic suits? Next, you want to make a decision. Do you want to pare down your wardrobe or do you want to expand out your wardrobe? For a lot of you guys paring down your wardrobe, you have a wardrobe of only essential items that you're going to use and are going to work interchangeably so that you can get the most number of outfits from the least number of items. But some of you guys, maybe you want to really add to your wardrobe. You want to bring in a lot of items, which maybe aren't going to match everything, but are definitely going to stand out. In this case, you're going to be expanding the wardrobe. My tip number two for purging your wardrobe is to gamify it. You want to make it so that you want to actually go in there and clear through your closet. For most of us guys, we actually maybe need a bit of an incentive. So maybe give yourself a gift certificate. I can't use it until I've actually gone in and cleaned out my closet, cleared out my wardrobes. Why not make yourself a nice cup of coffee? Get yourself a nice drink set up. Get some music playing. Make it so you're going to enjoy the next couple hours. Purging tip number three, which is to schedule the purge. Why not March 21st at 7 p.m. for 12 hours? You do want to put this in your calendar. You want to make sure that, hey, I give myself the two to four to five hours it may require. I know for me, when things are in my calendar, they actually get done. Purging tip number four, you've got to have the right tools to get the job done. So first up, class one tools. And these are the basic things that you should have. So first off, you've got to have enough hangers to be able to hang things. Next up, you want to have the right type of hangers. So if you're going to be hanging up suits, make sure that you've got a wide angle right here. Otherwise, you use wire hangers or plastic hangers. They could actually damage your jackets and suits. You want a place to put your sunglasses. Keep the sunglass cases for your nice shoes. You've probably got shoe bags just lying around. Use those. Now, class two type of tools that you want to have are going to be ones that you'll buy specialty for this. This could be storage boxes like a valet. You could have a place where in your closet, okay, I'm going to keep all my shoe shining gear in a box. Purging tip number five, empty and clean. So you want to get everything out in the open. What you want to do is go into your closet, take everything out, I like to dump it right on the bed. Then I'm going to go into that closet, go into that dresser drawers. I'm going to wipe them down, clean them. Now this next purging tip is going to require some tough choices. You got to take everything on that bed and you're going to divide it into six piles. So first off, the pretty easy one is the trash. If it's underwear that has skid marks or socks that have holes, let's trash them. On the other end, things that you love. These are jackets. These are shirts. These are things that fit you well. And when you put them on, you feel like a million bucks. Now let's go back over to the extreme end again. Okay. So these are items that they're in good condition and you just don't wear. You don't like, you've never actually used this. Put them into the donate or sell pile. Back over here, we've got items that you really like this. You love it, but it doesn't fit you properly. It's actually damaged. It's missing a button. This you want to put into the repairs. So now let's go into the okay pile. And this is going to be things that, you know, when I wear it, I, maybe I think I have to keep this or it's the only one I've got. You know, those jeans are just simply my go-to ones, but I don't really like them that much, but I don't have a lot of pair of jeans. Go ahead and put them into the okay pile. Now we've got one of the toughest places, the nostalgia pile. And this is going to be pieces of clothing that remind you of where you came from, what you did in college. I'm not saying get rid of this clothing, but I am saying put it to where it belongs and you probably need to store it properly. So let's get back now to each of these. So you can pretty much throw and get away with the trash and the one that you're going to donate. Those are gone. Now over here, you want to take what needs repairs and send it off to repair. So go put it into your vehicle. Next up, you want to start and look at the nostalgia, take action on that. It's either going to get donated or you're going to put it back into the okay. So now we've got to deal with the okay pile and this is how you're going to do it. You're going to take those items and you're going to put them into a box, which you're going to mark with today's date. You're going to seal it and you're going to put them in the back of your closet, maybe up in the attic. And you're going to pay attention to in one year, if you have not opened these boxes, it's pretty much safe that you can donate this. Now we've got purging tip number seven, dealing with the aftermath. So you've gone through and you've thrown a lot of things out. You've identified what you love. You made some tough decisions on items in the middle. Hopefully throughout this, you've been making a list. You've been actually taking note of what it is you need to upgrade. Items that you wear a lot, you want to have duplicates of. Then you want to go and identify the items that you were missing or the items that were okay that would actually really it would augment your wardrobe to go ahead and 
and get something that you love. This is where you want to spend your money. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What'd you think of this video? I'm going to link in the description of this video to other resources I've got over at Real Men Real Style, where I teach you why you need to use shoe trees and why you should invest in them. I teach you how to sew on a button. I've given away all of these, these, all these pocket squares. I've given these away to for free. I know a lot of you guys have these pocket squares and make sure that you sign up. You get these notifications that are coming out via email from YouTube when I put up a new video. Guys, at the end, end of the day, what I've tried to create here for you is a multifaceted approach to helping you use style. I've got a podcast. I've got infographics. I've got over 2,000 free articles. I've got amazing premium courses that you can take and go through, guys, because at the end of the day, I want you to take action. I want you to become the man you know yourself to be. So, go out there, kick butt, guys, and uh, you know, be careful purging those wardrobes. See you in the next video. Take care.